What's up? Ling Ning is back with another video. Yes, today I am also wearing a crazy color lipstick because again, I watched the YouTubers and I thought they're cool. I wanna go with the flow and be cool with the cool people. So yeah, I hope it's not too scary. Uh, if you think so, please comment below and I won't wear it again. But yeah, I just think it's funny to have a little try with different colors and new interesting colors. But yeah, anyway, let's get to it. This video is about my first teaching experience in China. Yeah, I think it's very important to talk about uh, like teaching in China because no, no, it's not. I just really like the topic, whatever. <laughs> so I found a Danish agent uh, and they were working with a Chinese uh, agency and yeah so they just sent me that way through do you say that I don't know <laughs> so on August 1st I landed in Beijing 2011 sorry August 1st 2011 I landed in Beijing for the first time in my life I was with a group of Danish people and we were escorted to a university in town where we met I don't know, 70 other international friends and it was just like, whoa, it was amazing. I was so excited about the whole thing. We were at the university campus for a month while we were taking how to teach in China classes with three different teachers. We were learning how to play with Chinese students, how to interact with them when you don't speak the same language and i was just mingling and getting to know new people and practicing my english i was really nervous about the english part in the beginning because i was like ah i haven't spoken to native english speakers before only my teacher and she can always translate if i don't understand what she's saying so yeah that was a challenge um but yeah so we were in this uh, class we were taking these classes for this month and uh it was just super cool. I felt more, you know, secure and safe because somebody was helping me get into China and Chinese culture and understanding the whole situation. They were warning us about what could happen um, in the smaller towns or how to deal with these problems or those problems. And we were taking Chinese classes as well to learn a little bit of the language and it was just so much fun after four weeks we had done a short internship like a week of interning in a chinese school as well and i was so prepared actually at that time because the teachers told us that some of the schools were pretty formal so i went to h&m and i basically bought the most old lady costume I could find. It was awful. When I see the pictures now, I'm like, oh my God, why would you wear that? That's so silly. You look like a 90 year old with, I don't know, a red bob, 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 bob. Like my hair was all short and red, totally red. And it was just, it looked so stupid. But yeah, anyway, so after four weeks, uh, they sent us to different schools around the country. Yeah, I know. It was like, whoa. <laughs> so we took a train down to the south and I knew what town I was going to. I knew nothing about the school. So me and another girl from Norway, we were sent together. I did not know her. It was only the two of us. Some of the other guys, they were more people together in a group. Um, but yeah, it was only the two of us. We took the train, we ended up on a station in Guangzhou in the southern part of China, Chinese uh, Guangdong province. And yeah, two ladies, no, a guy and a lady came and picked us up. They were like, hey, you guys are no, no, no. And I was like, yeah, that's me, okay. And then they just took my suitcase and ran off. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, trying to follow. It was so hot, oh my God, it was so hot. Uh, August, southern part of China, no, 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 don't go there. <laughs> I'm never gonna move back there again because it was just too hot for me. Uh, as a Scandinavian person, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, off topic again. Um, 
We came to this little small town after driving for like an hour or so and we were settling into our very nice apartment. I started uh, teaching like two or three days later. I just, uh, they, they, they didn't introduce us anything. Um, we met this woman called Sarah in the school, Chinese, uh, like English name Sarah. And uh, she said, oh yeah, you guys, this is uh, this is your schedule. And uh, you have this class, this, 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 that, 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 that. I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of teaching because uh, the agency just said that we would be going to different schools and then we would just take it from there. Like there was a maximum of hours uh, to teach and obviously, yeah, I got the maximum. So I had seven classes a day and each class had 40 students. And now I understand why my friend said it would be a very good idea to buy earplugs. I thought she was just kidding. No, she wasn't.